Hey guys, what's up? I am playing something a little different now. This is a CTM map called Monstrosity by Cold Fusion Gaming. And it's the standard collect wool to complete the monument map. And this is the SP starting area, don't break blocks. The left is the board, difficulty selector, some other stuff, death counter. I am going to enable that death counter. Hopefully I can keep it at zero. Have some free saturation. Yay! That's nice. I am going to enable the death counter. Vexy and death counter enabled. Oh yeah, that's nice. That is Vex. Vex is pretty awesome. For starting, check all of the other settings. Oh, and note to rock. No. I am going to be playing this game on hardest. Because, why not? Recommended settings, clouds off, particles all, graphics fancy, can't exactly do that. Render distance far or normal, smooth lighting maximum, can't do that. Brightness moody, I can do that. Well, I don't know about that. YouTube is a bit dark, so I'm going to keep it nice and bright for you guys. And over here, order tips. Grinders will help a lot. Custom monsters drop useful items. Is any tactic you can think of. Hang on to lore books, music discs. Make many large Zestonian houses and don't die. That is a good tip. I wish every map would tell you that. Because, you know, usually I just die and I'm like, hey, this is helping. But this guy's got it right. Okay, before starting, yeah, I checked everything. Let's start this. And frames per second dip on the teleport. Okay. It's going back up. Let's see. Ooh, Thorn 7. Okay. Some torches and an introduction. Let's check this out. A map made with evil and no love. Only of corruption and fear it is of. Though the far horizon may seem bright, in the end, the monstrosity you must fight. Okay. That is intense. I don't know how to get out of here, though. I suppose I should equip this. Um... Well, let's start by breaking stuff. Give me these ladders. I'll just ladder up with these. And I guess that's what you're intended to do here. And pop. And I'm dead. Oh, not yet. Okay. Power one, flame one, bow. Couple arrows. A wooden sword, sharpness, efficiency, unbreaking. Okay. This guy's got some cool lore text on his items. Uh, let's see. I will put this away, get everything in the right slots. This is pretty much going to be my tool for now, so I'll keep it like that. And let's scout out the area. I am on hard, so... Uh, there's somewhat of a tree over there. I see another chest in the distance. I'm not going to use the Optifine zoom too much, but I have it. So... If there's something I need to be able to see far away, I have it. Uh, books might be useful later. What? Oh, I'm in adventure mode. Well, I did not know that. It is a good thing I have this axe, then. This is going to be interesting. I wasn't expecting this to be in adventure mode. Luckily the axe can break vines or else I would be stuck without uh, being unable to harvest this stuff. Still haven't seen any mobs, so doing pretty well there. Uh, let's see, I can't place blocks either, so harvesting these books is pretty useless unless I'm going to be enchanting. Uh, I, don't know. Hmm. I, I, don't, I don't even know. I don't know why I said build large Zestonian houses if you're on adventure mode. Wait a second. Oh yeah, you can place blocks now. Forgot about that. When they first added it, I haven't played with adventure mode much since they first added it. But when they had, you could only break, you couldn't break anything. Like even if you had tools. Ooh, that's nice. Arrows, more torches. Ladders are always useful. Another wooden sword when this one breaks. And... Excuse the yelling at the cat in the background. Uh, iron doors. Iron doors everywhere. And, okay, here's an entrance. 
Three by three tunnels. Ooh, ooh. What is this? I don't want that to hit me. That sword probably has a hefty amount of fire aspect on it. Ouch. Yeah, I was right. Drop your sword for me. That would be really nice. Ooh, yes, he did. Okay, let's go ahead and get that saturation up. And fire aspect on breaking sword. Uh, excuse me for a second. Ah, okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. I was getting some pistachios, which are awesome, by the way. White core. These sheep are used as markers to mark which of the cores is hidden in an area. Remember, sheep wool may not be used for the core array. Oh, that's cool. It's an interesting concept using the sheep, since you're not allowed to use sheep wool. And go ahead and harvest this up. Stairs. I'll get this glowstone though, because it might be. Ouch! Oh, we got fire resistance, so using this sword on you is pointless. It is a stone sword though. No. Oh. My cat did something, and I looked at it, and I died. Oh, that's terrible. I didn't want to die at all this map. No, I'm sad. I will, however, go get my cat to be happy. So, be right back. Mm, pistachios are seriously delicious. Okay, back to the map. I think I went this way. Then up here. Did I get this chest right here? I don't think I did. Nice, other tools. Uh, let's get out of here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this was the way I went. And down here. Yep. This is where I failed. That's just one death. I like to call them derps. So one derp so far. That's where I had more armor. Where'd it go? Hmm. Oh, there it is. Ow. No. I'm not ready to fight you. I need to organize my inventory. Let's use some arrows on this guy to weaken him. Hopefully they start dropping... Ooh, ooh, helmets. Fire prop 2. I am going to use that because fire hurts. And they've been using fire. You have an enchanted bow. Even have a nice drop there. Redstone? Oh, they drop redstone. Smoldering powder. So that's what those are called. Smoldering ghosts. Okay. Let's go on these carrots on again. Need to get, get that regen going. Oh, I almost looked at an enderman. That would have been terrible. Uh, I've got two of these swords now. This one's pretty... Well, we'll repair it, I guess. Zestonian house kit, level 1. And DIY farm kit. Nice, I found the first intersection. That adventure mode is going to bug me. That is a lot of stuff. <laughs> I'll take the torches. Oh, I wish I could just sort this with a button click. And the DIY farm kit. Wow, those are forever and infinite. Yay, access to infinite water in buckets. You know, I am going to take those buckets. Because buckets are awesome. Uh, yeah, I want, I want a bucket of lava. I'll keep this water for now. But when I can get a bucket of lava, that will be very powerful. Uh, okay, while I'm here, I'm going to do some crafting. I'm going to need this, and then I'm going to need my own chest. I'm going to make a double chest. It's right here, so I can start doing stuff with that. Put my extra armor in there, and my fire pot helmet right now. 31 arrows. I'm doing pretty well. Uh, I've got a little coal. I want to keep those ladders on me, and the coal. And some wood. An extra sword, another smoldering sword. I've got an axe. I'm going to need a shovel and a pick. So my pick goes there, my shovel's here. 
Mm, anything else I need? It should let me break everything. So, the grand intersection, Evertick Clock Tower, and the Decaying Laboratory. This is a pretty intersection. I like the ceiling made of leaves and like leaf style of vine. No, vine style leaf things hanging down with the lights. That's cool. Okay, so now we make a choice. Farm. Yep, I'm going to build a farm. So, I will be right back when that is done. Okay, there we go. We got a little farm here, and now all it needs is water. So, I will place glass right here, and just add water. I'm going to need that other water bucket. I don't think about it. And place that one here. I did not think about this. I needed the water first. I didn't need to fill it in with this right now. So I will break every other one. Dang, I'm going to waste a bunch of my pick. It's efficiency one. Yeah. Somewhat useful. No, honestly, I think just putting water here would be enough for the farm. You're not going to see that anyway, so it's not like it's going to bug you. Unless it just bugs you to know. Hmm. Okay, uh, I'm going to plant all of this now. Never mind, you can see it. I'm not redoing it though. And we have a farm! Yay! That is an achievement. So, this glowstone I'm going to keep. I'm going to turn the, these up. I'll do that. I'm going to turn these coal into torches, and hopefully I can find a good amount of stone soon, because it looks like there's no stone in here, it's all clay. Clay and mossy cobble. That is really cool. A little river going down. This is not just an intersection, is it? That goes all the way down. That is so cool. I just pooped myself a little. Uh, that was scary. Okay. So, bucket in here. Uh, I have an infinite water source there, so not worried about it. Keep this wood on me in case I mine more uh, coal. I'm going to bring a backup helmet. This thorns one is pretty nice. And what else would I need? I've got my axe. A little extra food. Even crappy food. So, uh, let's see. Let's start from the left and go right. We'll go to the Evertick Clock Tower. Which sounds pretty interesting. I can't help but when uh, when I hear the word tick, that, you know what? It just occurs to me, I didn't do the white dungeon. When I hear the word tick, I always think of Minecraft tick. So let's fall and scoop. Oh, I, I shouldn't do that next time, because if I had messed up there... Oh, anvils. That's nice. Leather tunic, golden apples. Those are powerful now. Those got a nice buff. I've got an extra helmet for now. And some stone bricks. Okay. Some more ladders. Um, I don't like that being there. I'm going to cover it up. Is that going to blow up the entire world? Can I do that? I hope not. Uh, let's see. Okay, spawner up there. Okay. Hurry up, take out skeletons. That is a fast spawner. Light it up, light it up. There we go. I'm going to try to keep most of the spawners. Nice, thanks for infighting. That really helped me out. I'm going to try to keep as many of the spawners as I can. Oh, dang. Oh, cool, I can get through here. But I don't think they recognize that I can. Oh, they definitely are able to get through there. Ugh. On hard, creepers can one-shot you pretty easily. Come on, drop down. There you go. Now you're dead. Okay. Uh, I lit up that spawner. Uh, uh, that is so scary. 
you know, I can repair these. Come on, no one attack me while I'm in here. Yes. Sneaky tactics. <laughs> Creepers are so scary. I am risking so much on this. Uh. Dang it, creepers. Why are you to be so scary? Okay. I'm gonna eat all of this. And then light this up. Make sure it is completely lit up. Ow! Yeah, see what they do? That is not fun. Okay. Now I need to stay still. Uh, I've got six levels. Can I combine these swords? 24. That is more than I can handle at the moment. Dang it, not enough inventory space because I need to have tools on the bar to be able to do stuff. Golden carrots are nice. Unfortunately, that was my last one. Uh, I've got like 30 arrows, I'll just shoot you. The sword's almost shot anyway. Uh, two, three more hits because it shows one less than it has. Uh, what's around here? Climbing up? Climb up the vines. That is, is, is that, that's a gas spawner. Yep, don't get in range of that. I see something up there too I can go for. Man, that gas spawner. Okay, I'm going to need to go up towards the gas spawner and just break it. How did you spawn? Uh, no matter, you're dead. I think they can actually spawn, like, right there. That light just was a little too dim. Ooh, a chest. Double chest. Another power one, flame one bow, a gold pick. That is nice. Oh, I can use that to take out the gas spawner. And some more wood. Smooth sandstone, whatever. Anything else around here? I could really use an upgrade for my sword, because this is okay, but it's not great. It gets the job done, sets things on fire, that's about it. Um, how can I get up to that gas spawner without activating it too soon? Maybe use tactics like this? Yeah. Okay. Nice. And around here, up this. Okay, I'm activating it. I need to hurry. Now is not the time to mess around. Place, place, there we go. Okay, I got some blocks. Oh, don't shoot at me. No. Mm. Break. There. Yes. Ah. Oh, don't keep doing that. I'll fall. Okay. Nice. Took out that gas spawner. Now where am I supposed to go? Uh, there's actually some gas tiers that might be down there. I want to go get those, but... Mm. Uh, nice. Another path. Uh, I'll need to break stuff. Yeah, that adventure mode is going to mess with me a little bit. Ow. Okay. Get in, light it up, make sure there's no spawners. Oh, there is a spawner. And it's spawning faster than I'll be able to kill him. Come on, don't spawn anymore yet. There we go. Ah. Oh, oh, thanks for not blowing up the chest. Oh, 
Oh, yes, an iron chest plate. Another uh, punch one, though. Hmm, that might come in handy. Cook fish. I'm breaking two wooden axe. Okay. That's nice. I'm liking this chest plate. Um, more anvils. I can come back and get these later. What the path I was supposed to take? No, it just happens to go down there. Okay. So I can go up this pillar here. Spawner. Zombie spawner. Okay. I saw it. It's okay. Eh, what is going to blow up? Oh, I see you. I see you. Ah! Oh, crap! No, that is not good. Eat the golden apple. Ah, there's another one coming down. Kill it. Oh. Okay. Oh, it blew up the vine. Okay, I guess I'm going up here. And over here. Hey, I think he left. There's some torches to... Ow. To show you kind of where to go. This time, be, be cautious. Be cautious, crazy man. No, you're crazy. But... Uh, nice, more path. Ooh, a furnace. What's in it? Four coal. I am taking this. Yes. Creeper. Was that? That is TNT I saw. Uh. Ow. No! Dang it! I'm not making progress, I'm falling. And on the vine. Come on, just go up there. Go up there. There's a chest. Come on, what's in it? Uh, I'll take a peek and then... Uh. Okay, whatever. This is scary. A regen. Mm. Where did it go? I didn't even see where it went. This is not an easy area. So I got the resistance. Ten minutes. A very long-lasting buff. Nice. That could help a lot. Oh, that's a 20% damage uh, reduction for quite a while. Bridge out. Creepers all over the place in here. Uh, punch bow time. Okay, what? No! No! Ooh, that's gonna hurt. All my stuff was in there. Oh, man. Oh, I need to get some of the... I need to get some wool. Maybe I can shear those sheep for wool, right? <laughs> That's okay. Uh, Get rid of this. I need to get back there fast. All my stuff is all over the place. Fine! Stop slowing me down. Okay. I went over here. And... And over here... Yeah, okay. Oh, some melons. I can get those sometime. But right now I need to focus on this. Oh, holy crap, that went horribly. Come on, come on, let me in, let me in. Okay, crunch, whatever. Ah, uh, man. I assume the white wool is in the intersection? Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna want... Okay, I don't have anything. I can't really do anything. Ah. Uh. Um, crap, did I go the right... Yeah, I did I did go the right way. Oh, that was the other entrance. I went down to the bottom and fought my way up. I could have just started, like, right at the top. Whatever. I'll get my stuff and then fight again. This is the long way, though, and it had an iron chest plate, so... Ah, uh, experience. Item. Items. In here. Good, I got that chest plate. I want the sword and the tools, though. It in here. Yeah, that was an absolute disaster. The pants, nice. Okay, I've got some okay armor. Playing on hard, dangerous. Just so you guys know. Let's see, where will I go? Put it back up.
Uh, wow, found a pretty good path. Ah! What? That was weird. Okay. Uh, dang it, no path. I need a pick. Ah, there we go. Dang it, where is all my stuff? Gunpowder. Nice, here it is. Oh, yes. <laughs> I thought that was going to end in sadness forever and always, because it usually does when I play this game. Get that bow on the bar, the pick. Oh, no sword. I don't know where my sword is. And all the vines got blown up. Dang it. Uh, that was just a view. Okay, I didn't miss out on a bunch of easiness. And up here... No, I can't. I can right here, though. And... dang it. Oh, nice a little path. Let me up. Okay. I am doing okay now. Oh. Oh, I can't break leaves. I mean, cheers. Uh, vines, let me climb you. Dang it, it won't. Oh, ah, almost walked off the edge. Okay, what can I do then? Uh... Mm. Ah. Die, spawner. There we go. We're moving up in this world. Literally. I think I may just want to build up from here. On whatever this pillar is right here. And this platform, not pillar. And jump. And whatever's in there is going to put it near me. I just know. Uh, nice. I didn't. I didn't check if I got my torches back, but I did. Uh, anything under this block? Or is it just okay? It's just making the room messy. That's bugging me. Making the room messy. There we go. Ah. Okay. And around the corner here on that anvil. Um, another little platform, another creeper spawner. Dead. Okay, eat. I'm trying to be conservative with my food. Because it's probably a good thing to do when you don't have much of it. Yeah. Let's say it's a sound tactic. Okay, uh, excuse me for a second guys, I am going to go eat, but I will be right back. Well, for you guys it will be instant. So I will, well, I'll be right back. Alright, uh, what was I doing? That's right, we'd just seen the subsidium platform and wanted to get up to it. Um, yeah, excuse any background noise or anything, but it can't be helped. As I get better and better at this, and I see that I have a big subscriber, uh, well, not really big subscriber base, but people that actually care about my videos and want to see more. As I see more and more of that, oh crap. That was scary. Uh, but yeah, as I see more and more people wanting to watch my videos, I'm definitely going to consider getting some soundproofing and stuff done. 
Because as it stands, I just can't do that. Nice, the orange core. Okay, that means I am done with this section, and I need to get out of here. It'd be nice if I had an ender pearl, because it is going to be interesting, to say the least, getting down. <laughs> but I think I'll save that for another episode, because this has gone on pretty long. So, until then, take it easy.